Okay, uh, well, uh, hello everyone. I'm uh, Thierry from uh, Mauritius um, and uh, I work at the National Productivity and Competitiveness Council of Mauritius. And uh, I am an innovation, creativity and uh, design specialist. So um, maybe I will start to uh, share my screen so that uh, I can uh, continue with my presentation. So there you go. I hope uh, everyone can uh, see what's going on. Is it okay? Yes, it's perfect. Right. So yeah, so this is my title actually. And uh, if you don't know where is Mauritius, maybe you can ask Jake, <laughs> who has already been there. Right, Jake? And uh, well, this is the Mauritius located on the map. Uh, as you can see, we are a tiny island in the Indian Ocean. And um, the capital city is uh, Port Louis. So we have around 1.2 million of um, inhabitants. We speak English, French, and uh, mother tongue language is Mauritian Creole. So, um, well, this is a glimpse of Mauritius and um, actually unfortunately everything is not blue right now because as you know Mauritius now we are in lockdown and um, so schools also um, there are no schools and um, so being uh, I thought of uh, you know creating a project World the Swap Challenge for students who are at home. And um, this is the, the challenge. So we want them to be creative with using Scrap at home. And um, the best project uh, has a cash prize afterwards. And um, the purpose of the challenge, you know, is for students of uh, age nine to 18 years old, where they can, you know, reduce, recycle, and reduce scrap from their home place, and turn that into something very innovative and creative in the form of art, or maybe something functional. So, um, scrap they can use at home, you know, it can be anything broken, inoperative, discarded, or old objects, and there are no uh, training done, only uh, a tool called Scamper that uh, we made uh, them available. Uh, I think most of you already know what is Scamper. And uh, they use this technique to come up with uh, an innovation. So um, this is, uh, we had actually two, two categories where students uh, can participate in the challenge, right? And uh, we had also some criteria uh, to assess the challenge and uh, mostly on uh, innovation and creativity, originality, aesthetics, and functionality. So we have also um, free assessors in the, in the field you know, to assess the, the projects. And um, actually we have uh, three sessions. So one, the first session already has uh, been done and uh, I've managed to collect some projects which will I, which will I show you uh, later on. And actually the second challenge is on. Right, so they are going to submit the projects um, in the form of a video in a short clip or a Microsoft PowerPoint. And um, we wanted to you know, make uh, something really fun and uh, nothing theoretical and um, just students you know, to be very creative uh, at home and instead of being idle. So um, uh, I will show you afterwards now and uh, some projects that uh, we managed to collect from students. 
And uh, well, sorry for the quality of the videos. Nothing has been uh, edited. And uh, there are some presentations in French, but it doesn't matter because um, I will try to uh, comment on the video. So the first project that we received was from uh, Louise and uh, she's 11 years old. And let me show you what she did. Bonjour, je m'appelle Eloise Ray, j'ai 11 ans, je suis au lycée La Bourdonnée et aujourd'hui je vais vous présenter mon projet en trois étapes. Étape 1. Uh, Voici step, les bouchons de liège qui servent à faire le, le cou, la tête et les pattes. Voici buttons. les boutons qui servent à faire les yeux. Voici la boîte de conserve qui sert à faire le corps. Voici le rabbin qui sert à faire la queue. Uh, Voici le introducing de all the materials that she used. Qui sert à faire tous les bouchons de liège, les bouchons de liège entre eux. Tape de Voici les outils que j'ai utilisés. Une pince used. pour couper le fer. Un marteau, encore une pince pour couper le fer, un ciseau, de la colle chaude et un pistolet à colle chaude et un cutter pour couper le bouchon de neige. 3. Third, third step. Je fabrique une girafe et son petit. She is assembling the giraffe. Je vous présente ma girafe. Et son girafon. So there, there's the project that she did. J'ai utilisé des items destinés à la poubelle pour faire de l'art. Sauvons la planète. Recyclons. Voici Some snapshots of the project. And uh, For doing this uh, project, she says that it is very important to save the planet and uh, try to recycle. This is the second project that was submitted. And actually, this is the, the winner of the first uh, session of a scrap challenge. Uh, this is the student, Corinne Bocas, age nine years old, and he designed a table lamp. So he used a, a can of soft drink bottle and with the help of a pin, he hit some holes in the, the can. So this is the LED light and a switch. And with the help of a battery, he did this table lamp. So that's the second project. And the third one, uh, that's a broadband robot made of scrap materials. Uh, I know that he's speaking in, in French, but uh, I will explain what he did. So he wanted to do this project to develop his creativity. So these are, he's explaining the materials that he, he used for this project, basically made of boxes, even a re broken remote control and even a laptop broken laptop adapter so while doing this uh, innovation he said he didn't uh, did it only for his purpose but uh, also to help, you know, uh, children to play in orphanage. That's another project. 
and uh, from uh, Sharia, nine years old, and um, with the use of uh, newspapers, she designed um, a dress. glimpse of uh, projects that were submitted for the first uh, session of the scrap challenge and um, you know um, this was done without any training or you know um, not following any design thinking process so they just came up by themselves with uh, their project the creativity you know without any theoretical background or so whatever so um, what we're plan planning to do next um, is maybe to make them participate in um, our national project called uh, INNOVED, which stands for Innovation for the Education Sector. And um, well, um, the purpose is to instill creative and critical thinking among students and afterwards to develop a culture of creativity and innovation. For those who don't know, well, uh, this project started in uh, 2005, you know, and uh, we had the collaboration of the Connecticut Invention Convention, you know, to do a training of trainers afterwards. And uh, this project is based on the design thinking process. And uh, what they have to do is, you know, they have to identify a, a problem and use the following themes that you can see listed on the poster, either by through interactive media, cultural heritage, lang language and publishing, performance arts, visual arts and crafts and design to address the, the problem. And um, they have to come up with an innovation afterwards. So we have also introduced the innovation clubs in uh, schools. Well, uh, this is a, actually a model um, that uh, describes this uh, innovation club. So they have an uh, innovation tree, an idea box, a planning board, digital corner, scrap corner also, and a writable wall. And uh, here are some uh, screenshots you know, of the uh, Innovate project. And uh, as you can see, our friend Jake also was present as, uh, you know, uh, our guest here in Mauritius. And uh, so that's the, the idea of uh, Innovent. So thank you very much for your kind attention. And um, oh. I have any questions, uh, yeah. I would be glad to answer them. Barry, this was absolutely wonderful, absolutely wonderful. Um, unfortunately, we only gave you 15 minutes and the time is up. So we're gonna have to, we're gonna have to move on. But, oh, but, that's okay. but, but, but no, it's not okay. I'm very unhappy. Um, <laughs> but we have another uh, gift coming up in July and I want you to come back. We'll give you a half yes. hour. And I want you to bring some students with you and they, they can, just be, not a video. I'd love to have the students talk. That would be great. 
That would be you. Excellent. Excellent. Well, thank you very, very much. This is very impressive. I, I'm going to go make some clothes now out of old newspapers. <laughs> <laughs> Good for Halloween. I actually have quite a couple of questions, but yes, do come back, Thierry. With you pleasure. This vlog as well. You're wonderful. And, and by the way, um, I have Thierry's uh, email address, so anybody who wants it, contact me, and I will be glad to pass it along because he had said that one of the things he wants to do is collaborate with people around the world, and we have wonderful educators. So That's thank great. You. We all have a means now to collaborate. Yes, absolutely. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, and Thierry. Bye-bye. Thank you again. Bye.